some of the um, barriers we have is um, political. Um, it's politi- politically motivated because um, because of the oil and all of those that is rich in Africa. Some other group uh, in the world who benefit from it uh, tend to go against other people, the common people in in Africa getting educated, and that goes a long way in affecting the the level or the the development of better leaders in the community. I think education without borders will definitely be impactful on a broader scale. The ease of the technology, the low cost of it, and the flexibility. Despite someone's experience, despite their background, they should have that opportunity. I want people to be able to choose where they learn because of the quality of the learning not because of the visa they get or the cost of money or the geographical constraints. We want to remove all friction from every part of the student experience and have them be able to interact with us on any device. Still in the Asia region, which I know well, uh, online education is seen as second best. Every idea I've ever had, I've been told was wrong before I was told it was great. I've had bad ideas that stayed very bad but I have never had a good idea that people told me was good initially. It's creating those safe environments where, where our Māori Pacifica students and our, those communities you know, feel embedded and, and part of the MDS family. A welcome that is intrinsically New Zealand, and it goes, it's a karakia, it's a prayer, a blessing for a new journey, for new hope, new opportunities. It's very brief, and it goes, Piki mai, kake mai, ho mai te wai ora ki au e tu te huana te moe a te kui e te pō, 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 kaua tea. So out of darkness comes light. So that education is about light. Learning is about light. To all our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander brothers and sisters, from whatever Aboriginal or island nation you may have come from, welcome to Gadigal. And to all our non-Indigenous brothers and sisters, a very warm and sincere welcome to you, to Gadigal. No matter where you've come from, whether it be across the seas, across the state or across town, once again, a very warm and sincere welcome to Gadigal. The fundamental belief we have at Opal Healthcare is that human connection is at the heart of human well-being. You know, we have wonderful, wonderful staff who are very passionate and want to do the right thing by our students. But, you know, some of the some of the ways that we do it, do and respond to our students is not always consistent. I'd also allow that emotion to guide a response. Um, make sure our humans and our digital assistants pick up on annoyance and anger. It's not the responsibility of one person. I think it's the responsibility of the whole journey Rather, it's an ability to bring that same level of energy and attention to any situation. But ultimately, I hope the institution is proud of me and ourselves for trying to make a difference. It's about producing global citizens as part of the One Torrance experience to help the young people, to help the next generation. I don't think I need to show them how I need to stand by and support and have them lead the way. And I'm excited for that. I don't know what it'll look like in 20 years time, but understanding the human benefit in 20 years time will probably give you that answer. We saw it not so much about a linear joining, but actually something that was more representative of a Venn diagram, particularly where we might have the circles of technology and the circles of people overlapping. And where those two themes or those two topics overlap is where we find student success. We aren't taking education to them. You know what I mean? It's not missionary work. And we are actually going to community, working with community and helping them um, take their needs, desires, wants and package it in a way that is accessible, affordable and really, really makes a difference.